Alright guys, today I decided to do a tutorial on another um, server uh, manager or um, server software. Um, since MC Admin has been discontinued and I've never really been able to successfully make a decent video that will um, that will be efficient for quite a long time because uh, I think that this this one will be uh, this one will, should run for quite a long time or at, at least quite a long time or you know as long as however long Minecraft lasts um, so Bucket is a, the, um, the new server software I'm going to be talking about today and it is so far the best server software um, since um, Hail or HMOD uh, has been discontinued as well or yeah <clears throat> and I just clicked that for no reason um, so this this is um, very well coded and um, it, it runs a lot smoother and it isn't as demanding so basically just go to bucket.org and um, you would go to uh, go to has recommended builds here and um, it's a good thing I came here because uh, the last recommended build is 677 and the new build out uh, 684 so basically just click the latest build and it'll bring you here but um, yeah it'll you'll get this uh, craft bucket snapshot so we'll save this and uh, there you go and that's it but we're gonna um, yeah it will show you the instructions when you go to get craft bucket and windows or whatever uh, operating system you use um, and it'll tell you to put this in um, and Depending on it'll it'll determine whether your system is um, 32 bit or 64 bit. Uh, I'd recommend a 64 bit since 64 bit is um, basically means that you you can hold more RAM and more processes. Uh, so I'm just going to make a new folder called um, Craft. And I'm going to put this in here, and as you can see here, craft bucket, snapshot, etc. We're going to delete all that so it's just craft bucket. And uh, you're going to right click new text document, and you're going to call this uh, server. And you're going to open this, and you're going to paste in what it says here. So, I think I already copied that. Um, actually, I'm going to make sure that this is right. Alright, this is uh, what's supposed to be in. And uh, this is 64 bit, and this is 32. X68 is, uh, is 32. So, um, I've tried it before. It's a weird thing with this. Hopefully they fix it, but for some reason, um, you're not able to get more than one and a half gig of RAM to the server. And obviously, the more RAM that you give the server, the the smoother it's going to be. Um, at normal, I think it should be something like 512 megabyte. Um, I'd put up to at least one gig, depending on how big you want the server. And yeah. Um, 1.5 gig is the maximum I've been able to try. I've not tried that. Uh, I've tried 2 gig, that doesn't work. Anything over 2 gig doesn't work, so maybe you could try 1.75 gig, which is just um, 124 megabytes is a uh, genuine gigabyte, and then plus uh, 512 plus 256, 1.792. So you can try that if you want to, but I'm just going to keep it 1.5 gig, and that that should 
keep it running pretty smooth. So you just uh, you're going to go file save as, and you're going to save it as all files. You're going to save it as server bucket dot bat uh, server bucket server dot bat and save. And there you go. It makes a bat is like kind of like an exe basically. And um, you would double click this and it will uh, make the necessary files. You can, as, you, as you can see it's making the uh, spawn area right now. And what I definitely recommend after you make the server, this is a server done, right? So um, you could connect it via your um, IP, your internet service provider uh, IP and um, you can connect to it via localhost, so you just go into Minecraft and type localhost. And um, yeah, I'm going to stop for now. What I definitely recommend that you do is go and download um, some plugins, and I'm going to just show a couple just now. There's this plugins folder, and you put all the jars in here. So we're just going to find some quickly. Um, Buckety. Alright, so you get plugins and you have essentials and uh, Zenith R, you have essentials chat. Just download the essentials collection. And um, it's a very good plugin that you, you need. And also, what I recommend you download is. Uh, Permissions, which actually uh, put a link to it in the description, but uh, I have to run this and all right. So essential to point one. Uh, we're gonna do simple browser. All right. So essentials two point one, and we're just gonna download the jar. Um, yeah. Or the zip, actually the zip, and save. Um, I'm just gonna check this one uh, thing. All right, so this is also the uh, handler plugin you're gonna need, or one that I recommend you need. I'm gonna favor this because I can't find it on the forums. Um, I do favorites. Yes, right, there we go. And um, so you download it, download the jar. I guess download the jar only and save. And now we're just gonna open folder. Alright. Uh, essentials. So you're just gonna get all this, copy, and put them in your bucket um, plugins. So you put them in there, and once you. Um, once you launch the server, it will launch all the necessary files. So we're just going to run the server and it will do everything it needs to do. So we're going to stop it now. And plugins, as you can see, there's new uh, root manager and essentials. Now, one thing I should mention is that um, you're going to find a uh, need to install a program called Notepad. Or just any program that uh, will read these kinds of files, and basically, have your essentials, and you have all these things here. Near, you're going to open the config. .yml, and uh, it has all the things in here that you will want to change, like the rules, um, commands. Right, yeah, kits. I said tits there. Um, <laughs> the blacklist uh, for items. You want to go on to. Uh, you want to search block IDs, Minecraft block IDs. Uh, your data values is the other one. The Minecraft wiki, and you want to see the two D one, not the three D. And uh, there you go, and it'll tell you all the block list IDs. You might want to save it if you wish. Uh, it's all the IDs, so it'll tell you that. 
and then you have your group manager and it will tell you what groups there is. As far as I knew, there is there is moderator or just no group basically. Uh, semi admin, admin, and builder. So yeah, you can add them in the. There'll be uh, commands, so just type forward slash help when you're in the server, and it'll tell you everything. So uh, I hope that you, um, I hope that you find this helpful. I hope I can keep this uh, video up for as long as I can. Um, and yeah, if you have any problems and uh, send me a message, it'll get to me better than on a comment. Um, and I don't like to keep replying to people in comments because it kind of gets messy in the the, um, in the uh, uploader's comments. So just send me a message and I'll get back to you better. So thanks for watching. Uh, please remember to uh, rate and comment. Thanks.